This is WJTV News Channel 12 at 10. When two or three refused to touch and agree, it was an ugly scene outside of a Jackson church this Sunday. Members demanded that their pastor vacate the pulpit. Good evening, everyone. I'm Danielle Vittable. And I'm Terrence Friday. Thanks for joining us. Some of the members contacted us saying that there are some serious problems with leadership. Jacob Kilstad was there on the day that's supposed to be set aside for worship, but got ugly very quickly. You're on holy ground. He can stay here. Yeah. It's a flock clearly divided. We got leadership that's been voted out as of yesterday, and that leadership is refusing to leave, so the members are standing firm here so that we won't have service this morning. This church is New Galilean Baptist. The leader in question is the relatively new pastor, Orlando D. Franklin. About 300 people signed this petition to remove him from the church, and that was going to be delivered Sunday morning. Instead, Pastor Franklin, along with certain deacons and trustees, stayed in his office. My name is Jacob Kittlestad. I'm a reporter with News Channel 12. We'll be on tonight. He silences people. If you don't agree with him, there have been three instances when people have tried to talk in church and he turned off the mic. And so they will send them a letter telling them that they're no longer needed from their positions or that they can find another church home and it has happened multiple times, and everyone here is just exhausted with it. And that's the problem that we've had. Although Pastor Franklin declined to comment for this story, he does have supporters in the church. And they have been fighting this man from the beginning, and it doesn't make any sense. He is a godly man, and he's not doing anything wrong, and I wish that they would stop. He don't die. We're not trying to take over, not trying to do a thing, but when people are in leadership positions and they don't do what they're supposed to do, we just have, as the body has to take action. We not we, won't, we don't want to be governed by the court. We have got to be governed by God. In Jackson, Jacob Kittlestad, WJTV News Channel 12. While our crews were outside of the church, the pastor slipped out of a side door and drove off before any direct questions could be asked. We have left a message for his attorney.